Bollinger Motors came to Act Expo to let people drive their battery electric truck, to give an update on the design, and to announce a production contract from this feisty startup. I'll let Jim tell you about the truck and work in my own driving impressions along the way. Hi, my name is Jim Conley. I'm Chief Revenue Officer at Bollinger Motors. Uh, we are located in Oak Park, Michigan, and we make all electric commercial trucks in the class four, five, and six space, and our trucks are badass. Let me walk you through the frame design on this vehicle. First of all, if you look at, look at us and what separates us from our competition is our frame. Our frame, the width of our frame is 40 inches wide versus the standard 34 inches. What does that do for me? What it does is it allows me to keep all the electrical components as well as our batteries safely within the rails. Whereas so, if you look at some of our competition in this space, you're gonna see batteries hanging off of the sides of the rails, um, which is going to complicate uh, upfit process, it's also going to add uh, wear and tear on the battery process. So if you look at where our batteries are located in our vehicle, our batteries are centrally located in this vehicle. We have a two-pack battery system. Each battery is 79 kilowatts for a total of 158. It's a 800 volt system that we use and the range in our vehicle uh, with an upfit and 50% payload is approximately about 185 miles on that vehicle, all depending on regenerative braking as well as temperature, road conditions, all of those things um, that affect all EVs. Our vehicles, uh, our battery packs have a um, different chemistry than some. This is a lithium iron phosphate battery, uh, which is uh, less prone to any type of thermal events that you might have with a nickel and cobalt type of battery. And if you move towards the back of the, of the frame here, we have an e-axle. This e-axle is a Dana um, ES9000. Uh, so again, um, Dana is a leading name in the automotive industry. So when you go to partner or as a, a startup manufacturer, you want to get to market quickly. So it only makes sense to partner with um, names in the industry that are well known. Dana is a perfect example of, of coming to market with a product that's superior. Um, O&E is also the one that we talked about uh, that did our battery. Um, good year for uh, our tires. So um, all of these individuals add cre credibility to a startup and the quality of our vehicle, I think is exceptional. Power delivery is very smooth, very quiet, of course, and effortless. I describe the acceleration as lively, but that's without any payload. Or so I thought. Well, this one does have 50% payload. Each of those, oh. each of those oh, okay. mats back there are over 100 pounds. Wow, and then it definitely is uh, quick, because <laughs> I didn't feel any of it back there. So. So even wow. loaded up to half its maximum payload, the truck was fun to drive. That's very impressive. Shocks are from Bilstein for a confident and, dare I say, sporty ride. The frame rails narrow at the front. That allows the wheels to articulate more. This results in a tight 46-foot turning circle. You may recall that Bollinger got its start in automotive by announcing plans to develop a utilitarian all-electric SUV and pickup, that's the B1 and B2. Those trucks are still on their roadmap for development, but put on hold to focus on the opportunity presented by commercial medium duty trucks like the B4. We pivoted to commercial is because we saw a hole in the commercial space in the class four, five, and six where there isn't really an electric product um, that's available to the customer. So we wanted to capitalize on that. In the automotive industry, if you don't jump on a particular hole, you're going to have a lot of other competitors uh, jumping in and you don't have a lot of time to kind of take advantage of that competitiveness. So we pivoted to that manufacturing perspective, we've also partnered with another leading name in that we contract out our manufacturing to Roush, uh, which is a well-known name, again, if you're in the automotive industry. Um, it is all of our de patented designs, it's our engineering and so forth from that, uh, but they do the, um, the physical production of that and we oversee that process with our engineering team. We go into production on this vehicle in the back half of this year. Um, and then uh, shortly after this vehicle comes out, uh, we will be doing a sister brother vehicle um, to that, which is the, the B5 vehicle. 
At the show, Bollinger announced a production order from EnviroCharge, who will use the trucks for mobile charging solutions. Their design for it takes advantage of the tidy packaging of the Bollinger B4, allowing the EV charger to be installed on the side like you see in the picture. So that's the latest from Bollinger Motors. Thanks for the overview, Jim, and congratulations to the whole team for the progress that's been made on your badass electric trucks.